Hello to you, welcome to About Town on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. Today, we've come to a very important part of town. Uh, this is Abu Sokan. We'll be going in there. That is the, the, spare, the spare parts hub. We all depend on this part of town, except that we may not know. I mean, if you don't interface directly with mechanics and they don't tell you that maybe you need to change your gasket, you need to buy plugs, you need to buy shock absorbers or your brake plat, your brake pads have gone bad, you may not think you you ever need Abusokai, right? But it is very critical. So it's been raining recently. That means that many roads have deteriorated, and that also means that I mean, if you drove through the rains in the recent past water probably went into your engine and you'll be told that you need to change your oil and all those kind of things abusoka is a place to be and we want to find out from them what kind of spare parts are people really buying how are the prices going are they having business how are things going on their side but while at it while at it we cannot go in there without showing you just how uh, the the Obeche Bilamte interchange is coming up. So let's just focus our lenses on the flyover and I'll give you a few details. So the phase one, which comes from Graphic towards Kaneshi Market, has been completed. This was uh, commissioned in 2020, I think you remember. The president was here, he commissioned it. Now phase two is what is still underway. And um, like you saw recently, my colleague Nyama um, told you that the contractors say that um, they are hopeful, they are upbeat that they can finish ahead of schedule. They tell us that this will be open to traffic, I mean, the, the, the second tier, okay, so the second phase. There's phase one, there's phase two. I'll, I'll talk to you shortly. Let me just, the people here really want to talk, and I don't even know what they think I am talking about. Okay, so they, they, are, they are fixing, I'm fine, how are you two? Okay, so they... They tell us that by 24th of March 2023, that is next year, the second phase will be open. If you've been going to Agbogbloshi, thereabout, or even Kolebu, you must have felt the traffic on this stretch. But when they are done, all that will be gone. So from the Kwame Kuma interchange all the way to Abusoka Haise, all the way to Abusoka, all of that. It's going to be done. It will be exciting. I'm really looking forward to the completion of this. You can tell that it's really taking shape uh, pretty beautifully. So this is a 389 meter stretch. I'm talking about the second tier. 389 meters. And um, it's been, so far, they've spent 14 months on this. It is about 61.79% complete. The second phase alone is costing about 87 million euros. And we are told that the storm drain over there, I'm sure you, you must encounter it whenever it rains. That place always floods. We're told that uh, in partnership with Garrett at the Ministry of uh, Works and Housing, all the drains connecting to this project will be fixed. That means that hopefully when this is done, we won't see flooding here and there. And then the, the bridge, the columns, the substructure, the superstructure, there is a composite, so when it's done, when the bridge, what you see up there is done, there's going to be the steel, which you saw at the first end, so what the concrete and then the bitumen is on for the first phase. So the steel, that one I'm told, has been uh, fabricated in England and is expected to arrive by September. So that's it about the project. It's coming together beautifully. It will come with fixing of storm drains. It will come with... Um, it will be a 389 meter stretch from uh, toward, from the state housing when you're coming down from the Kwame Nkuma interchange all the way to Agbogulushi and then you continue to uh, the, the Kolebu side of things. The groundworks will be done so the road here too will be properly uh, done. So that's the exciting news 
as far as this is concerned. Obviously, it's come with some uh, stress for those who are motoring, but it's an inevitable, necessary evil, you may say. Hello, some people have been motioning me and they want to talk to me. Hi, guys, good day. How are you? You want to talk to me? Yeah, my name is Caleb. What's your name? I'm Manuel. Okay, what do you do around? Um, I fix windscreens and stuff. You fix windscreens yeah. and stuff. Okay, so these days it's been raining and then roads have deteriorated. We, we are told that some people, their cars got involved in crashes. For others, water entered their engines. What kind of spare parts are people really looking forward to the most when they come here lately? Um, actually, the car parts, um, they're talking about the shocks and other stuff, and the windscreens as well. That's what the most we come in for. How, how, what's with the windscreen? Windscreen, sometimes when it rains and you're going, it picks some stones and other stuff to hit the windscreen, it breaks. So when it comes, they just have to change them. Especially when there's a tipper truck ahead of you and yes. the road is not yes. paved, it picks stones and yes. it hits your windscreen. Yes. Yes. Okay, so it means your sales have shot up? Yes, yeah, sure. Hmm? sure. Okay, how much is it costing to fix, say, uh, Picanto's windscreen? Picanto's windscreen, as of now, 455 minutes it is to fix, but first it was lesser. For, so, first, how much was it? First, at least 350 could fix. 350 now yeah. it's jumped almost like 100 percent. Yes, sure. Why? Why is it increasing? Yeah, because of the duty. The duty has increased more than, let's say, 35 percent. So, duty has increased, and that's why the cost has increased. But in terms of profit, are you making profit? You can't make profits because things have increased and then the people buying it are also crying and say it's expensive. So you don't have to go about that. Just have but you to told me that more people are buying. They are buying, but at a, at a um, lower cost. I see. So your profit margins have decreased, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah at, a, at a very high rate. I see. Yeah. Okay, thank you. But how are you all doing? Those of you at Abuso Kang, how are you doing? We are just coping. You can't, sure. you can't just stay home. Because the number of times we've been to the mechanic and they are telling us we have to come to Abusoka and all. I feel you guys are millionaires right now. That's what people think that Abusoka people are millionaires and other stuff. But then that's not how it is over here. Actually, we are really suffering, struggling over here. Take me out for a walk. Can we walk? Take a walk around? Sure. What's your name, by the way? I didn't ask, did I? Emmanuel, yeah, you did. Emmanuel, good. I forgot. Forgive me. He's Akota. Oh, Akota. <laughs> nice. So, I know also that sometimes. The mechanics say, oh, it's going to cost maybe 350 for something. But actually, when you also come to Abuso Okan yourself, you might get the things at a much cheaper price. You what see, sometimes the mechanics, they don't sell those stuff. They just fix. Okay. So you have to buy for them, then they'll fix it. Exactly. And so they just give estimate prices. Right. And so you, they don't give exact price. The estimate prices they give. So actually... It might be higher or lesser. That's the problem. The, the so if my mechanic tells me, for example, I, maybe I need to change my, um, what's that one called? The converter. The converter. And the exhaust. Yeah. Then they tell me that, oh, it's going to cost about 1800 What should I do? Should I just pay them straight see, or I need to come here myself? You see, when you were saying, you said about. You didn't give it exactly, it's 1800 yeah. About. That means an estimated price. Yeah. So what you have to do is, either you increase the money, right. so when it comes and it's lower, you are profited. But, but they don't so give you they don't give you your balance in case they go there and they find out it's cheaper, right? Yeah, actually that's what they do. And so the best thing for you to do is either you come yourself yeah. and then make the inquiries yeah. and say, okay, okay, fine. I came here, I got something like this at this place. So let me give you this and then I guess the challenge is that most people don't have time. They are busy in the offices or on the farms. Yeah, so, so since yeah. you don't have time, then that's how yeah. you have to go about that. You have to keep it that way. So you are, there are charges for services and inquiries? And sure, things. since you also left his job to come and look for something for you. You yeah, also have to make profit. How do you feel about this interchange that is coming up? When it's done, how is it going to change things for you? Actually, actually when this interchange is completed, I think it's going to help a lot. Because anybody who passes down is actually coming to Abusoka. Because yeah. when you're going to Kolebo, have to pass up. Yeah. It's going to help. But then they are delaying. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, they are delaying. They are taking too much. When are they supposed to finish? By this you time, they are supposed to finish. But then they are talking of, let's say, next year that place. March. And then it's delayed. So it's delayed? It's I, delayed. I, I, I thought they said they will finish ahead of schedule. Because they are in time. as compared to the first one, the first yeah. lane, it took a lesser time than this one. This one is almost taking, out say, three, four years. Mm. And it's taking too much time. And it's worryingness as well. See, but they said they will finish in March 24 next year. It's, I think it's more than... It's, it's, it's just a waste of time because I don't think it's left with too many things. It's just this cabinet they will bring and they'll just fix it and then they are done. It's been... The, the steel... The steel is yeah. here. It's been fabricated in England. It okay. will land... It will arrive in about September. 
okay. and then they'll do the columns. I think the columns are what we are seeing. Okay. So they'll do the concrete on the steel, and then they'll do the bitumen, and then they'll possibly do it. Okay, but actually the reason why I'm saying they're delaying is, you see, as a contractor, when a contracting road, you have to tackle the gutters and other stuff first. But these people are not doing that. They'll just do some parts, and they'll just leave it. Later on, they'll come back and then you see there's a problem over here. They have to go back to it and just drag it back. So, did the recent rains affect the works? Because I realized that it always the, the does. place was flooded and it was. It always does. We can go back and I'll show you something out there. I saw that. I filmed it. They, they just raised their place up so that the water wouldn't come in. It always comes when it rains. But they said they'll fix that too as part of the project. They're not doing that. They are not done, so they will do it. You see, for construction of road, it's supposed to be fixed them, the gutters, before you continue with this one. I'm not a contractor, so I don't know. Yes. You are living here and you are affected yes, by it, so that's yes. why you're saying that. Yes, yes. Emmanuel, thank you for talking to me. Okay, you're welcome. Great. So, what is the trick? If you need to buy something from Abusokai and you want to get it cheaper um, and still quality, um, how do you get it? I want to go in there and find some people to talk to. Come along, let's go. <laughs> Great, so it's a busy day at Abosoka as always. There are lights here, there are car tapes. If your car, is your, if your car tape is stolen, man, you are in trouble, right? And there are all kinds of accessories. These are largely accessories that you typically find the taxi drivers uh, have on their cars, make it look nice and all of that. But I've come to meet a man here who knows his onions. He's been at Abosoka for so long. Uncle Nat, is That's his right. name? Yes. Uncle Nat, Uncle how are you? I'm fine. I'm it's doing good. It's been a good. while. Yes, a long time. How are you doing? I'm great. And you? I'm good. So how long have you worked at Abusokai as a dealer? Mm -hmm. as a, what do you do here? Let's see. Almost 35 years now. 35 years at Abusokai? Yes. I was not born. De definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I was not born when you started work. That means you have a lot of insights here. What do you sell? What do you do? We do... Selling pass that is that is new pass and old pass. Okay. When you say new pass, it comprises with new uh, engine pass. Okay. Uh, everything concerning a, 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 a vehicle. But you offer you sell everything. Some. Yes. So in your last thirty-five years of experience, like what is the season that people really buy most? At what time do people buy most? And. And at what time do you say oh, it slows down? The peak and the slows down period. Exactly. Uh, sometimes when uh, people finish paying their war school fees and all that sorts, okay. then the peak is on. Okay. But when there's school fees and other things, pressing things to mm -hmm. go by, mm -hmm. uh, the peak slows down. So generally, like, school fee season brings business down exactly, in Abuso, okay? Exactly. All like the cocoa season. When the cocoa farmers have money, yes. there's a lot to purchase. That's but if they don't have money, it means their purchasing power is down. So and cocoa season also in leads to increase exactly. in Abuso kind. Exactly. Because people want to buy things for their vehicles. If okay. Sometimes when you are a cocoa farmer and you have your car yeah. engine to be fixed. Yeah. If you don't have money, you have to wait until the cocoa, cocoa season, season is. Then you come and fix That's your... True. That's true. So... Um, I've, I've heard, I've been to Swami Mazin, That's right. right? And the, the, the narrative out there is that even though they go abroad to bring their things to Ghana through the Tema ports and they have to drive about another six hours to Swami Mazin, spare parts in Swami Mazin is cheaper. Yeah, Mazin is how they say it's cheaper than when you come to Abusoka. Meanwhile, this is Accra. Is it the Kalabule economy in Accra that makes it so? Or what exactly? Oh, that one, that perception is not true. It's not? It, it's not true that Swami magazine spare parts are cheaper than the, that of Accra. It depends how you get your goods. Okay. Let's say two people at uh, Kaneshi Market selling tomatoes and one at Agurushi selling tomatoes. Mm. The source of their uh, staff may be different. Okay. Maybe one will get a crate of tomato, a box, maybe 300 Ghana, okay. and one will get 200. So definitely... 
the price will not be the same. And that is how, and that is how it looks like. If I mean bringing this, my spare parts from, let's say, UK, mm -hmm. and let's basically one car, hard body, I'm buying about 300 pounds. Yeah. And once also bringing the same stuff, maybe you got its own at 200 pounds. Yeah. But definitely, the price wouldn't be the same. I see. Yes. Well, but let's talk about duties. That's right. Has the regime eased up a bit for those of you so that you can make some profit? As for the duty, the duty itself is not a big deal. But the levy and the taxes are so huge. Uh, is there a difference? Uh, the duty alone. We have the duty. Okay, so there's duty. That's right. And the levy, like uh, ECOWAS levy, okay. a whole lot of uh, taxes. Uh, I'm sure there's COVID-19 levy somewhere Exactly, there. exactly. So the duty component is very limited, it's very small. But the other charges are added to it to make a huge impact. So, so if you take the duty, yeah. let's say the duty component alone, that's the specific duty, yeah. we made about, call it 15,000 yeah. on a certain good. Yeah. Good. And by the time you finish, the taxes and the, uh, the levy will make it up about 200,000. That is 20,000. So since um, 2016, I mean, our government, the government of the day now is said to be the businessman's friend. That's right. And there were a lot of promises that things would get better. That's right. And many people thought that Abu Sokai was actually very upset at the previous government. That's right. And the uh, promises that came were very juicy for, for the business people here. Would you say that that has been achieved? Right? Would you say that things have eased up a bit so that you're making profit and it's been better for you or good for you generally? What's the conversation amongst you like? I know I'm the pushing you a bit. No, 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 no. The conversation is as for us, yeah. when the dollar, the rate of a dollar, the exchange yeah. is low, definitely you can get a good stuff yeah. out of it. But when the exchange rate now, if you can, if I cannot mistakenly, I know the exchange rate now is dollar to a city fifty pesos, which is very high. Yeah. So they wish to change the dollar at uh, six cities fifty pesos, and now it's a cities fifty pesos. That is the two cities difference. The differential is huge. Yeah. So if let's say uh, six months ago I changed. 650 for 10,000. Mm -hmm. Now I have to use about 850,000, that is 85,000 to change the same amount of dollar. Right. And so, uh, definitely, the cost of everything is high now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, expect as we sold, uh, the, we, we are selling uh, plugs of about, say, 80 cities. Now it's about 120. Right. So, things. Plugs have shot up from 80 to, to 120, 120, yes. Okay, so run me through other products that people sell here. And the cost variations everything, as you know. Everything, everything, everything. Oh, including coil? Everything. Because maybe if I bring my stuff, like 10 cities, mm. for the other six months ago, yeah. and now it's 15 cities cost, definitely the price will be increased. So it affects everything. The exchange rate affects everything. Now even pure water now is affecting it here. The, the ladies who are supposed to sell the pure water, they sell it at 20 cities, but they, now they are selling it at 10, 30, 30, 30, sorry, 30, 30 pesos. Yeah. So it means the fufu even I ate yesterday. Wow. Papa, show me around. Show me around and, 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 and let me know. So again, eh, mm -hmm. I was asking, mm -hmm. so if I am, you know, sometimes people come to Abosok and you look at them, you size them, you're like, this guy might not really know what they're about. And then in terms of the pricing, it feels like when people realize you don't really know where you are going, you don't know what you want, like the cost, the, the price at which they sell things to you can be very exorbitant. I want you to sh share with my audience some of the secrets you need to know when you're coming to Abosoka so no. you can get a good deal. Oh, as for you get me right? Deal, yes, I get it right. As for the good deal, it's better for you to enter any shop at all. It's rather than better than standing by roadside and let people corner you to bring, we come, I have this, I have this. If you get to the shop, at least they will issue a receipt for you. So if you take it go uh, along and it is not good, you can easily bring it back oh, okay. for even change or even that whatever. whatever but right. if you go and stand the roadside to get the people to, oh, I have this, I have this, they will take you, I will let you wait and go and bring it. That type of, that is. But as for the price, definitely anyone who is coming to Abuso can definitely really need what is about to come and buy. And at least have an idea of nobody will come to Abusoka and say he's coming to buy a water tank. Right. 
That's he wouldn't have any idea at all. So, so at least you should go online and check the prices. Exactly, exactly. And call some people. That's why right. they they do make a course almost every day and everything. Okay. So if I want to buy something, he'll call a friend. Oh, I want to get this. How much do you think it costs me? Right. And the person will say it's between. So that you get you get an insight, uh, the idea about how much you are going to buy. So we give you a roughly idea, like maybe 120 to 150. Yeah. At least you know that will be the range. And so when you come and somebody tells you that this one is this and that and that, you get 500. It means there's something wrong with it. Let me share a secret with you and why this man is a great resource. I once needed to buy converters plus the exhaust. I, I, apparently, I didn't need the exhaust at all. And this mechanic was telling me it was going to call me about, cost me about 1,000, 8,000, exactly, five, you exactly, remember. Exactly, yes. Then I came, I called Uncle Nat and he said, okay, let me see. He checked and said, no, you don't need to change the exhaust. It's the converter you need to change. But even just with that, I was hearing about 1,000, 2,000 there. But by the time we were done, we got to like 400 CDs. Exactly. So, like, that's so huge. Exactly. Imagine. So, so if you don't have anyone or not necessary that you need to get anyone my advice is get straight to the shop after no, this at least you need to have plugs here exactly you can run things back. exactly okay. and so you get to stay your shop any shop at all if you get there if they don't have they will even connect you to the shop they have okay so that will be better for you than go and stand somewhere let someone get you oh i'll get this i'll get that okay. if you sell it to you and there's a problem, you won't get the person back again for him to change it for you. And I'm a young problem. man mm -hmm. and I'm saving and I want to buy a car. Mm -hmm. What kind of cars are the parts cheaper to buy? One, easier to find two, mm -hmm. and three, maybe more robust so that I don't have to be come here often. I'm, I'm asking information that will not help your business, but help oh, me. Oh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, the car is normally depend upon how you use it. Okay. It's not necessary that the, the, some, the, type or the good, road you use. Good. It's, it depends upon the servicing. Okay. How you go about the servicing. If your brakes are not good, you immediately change it. You fix it. Okay. If your, uh, let's say, your headlines are not good. Your, but you don't have the necessary that exact. I know people use that. The, let, let me use this as an example. That the Mercedes Benz are durable okay. and you can compare and that. that. But the prices are expensive. Even though if you have money, you can use it. But you can use other brand. I mean, I'm not... You're not I'm into not, brands? No. So there's I, always this debate, BM or Mercedes, which one is yours? BM and Mercedes. Yeah, between BM and Mercedes, which one would you choose? Oh, I don't, I don't like any one of them. Are you I, sure? Yes. I, 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 I prefer Toyota, Toyota to all these BM and Mercedes. Why? Because now the Toyota is the dominant in the market. Everywhere you go, you can get a Toyota pass. Okay. You can get a Toyota mechanic to work on it. Okay. Normally, so parts are available yes. readily. And the mechanic to work on in case you are traveling, there's a, a little problem to fix. You can get you anyone can any in any, any village to work but on it. But not for you. all that cars. You can't get anybody to work on BMW okay. or Mercedes in the remote areas. You, you cannot get someone. But they also hardly break down in such long distance. It breaks down. Uh, it normally brings down. It's not so hardly. If, if say, someone is a, someone is a middle class person, mm -hmm. has some to. disposable income, mm -hmm. wants to get a car that is robust so that someone can use to do maybe ride hailing, mm -hmm. to create job and maybe make something on the side, what would you advise is the kind of most durable? The durable one I would say you, you have to go for is sometimes you, the car you can maintain. Right. Every car is durable. Unless you cannot maintain. But these days, I'm told the matches is not so strong on the market. I don't know if I'm doing the harm matches. to their business. No, 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 you're not. I doing see it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but people also say that it breaks down you, often. You, you know it's what? not so. You know what? Matches is as good as Vit. Now, the Toyota one, the current yes. one, that is it. Yes. It is a seasonal. It's every season that comes in. Okay. Because the matches has its own time when it is rain or every everywhere. And now matches is your particular bit me as well cannot watch you. You know what? You if you are talking about that, you are talking about in terms of the weight of the car, yes. the capacity Correct. and everything. And the consumption too in addition. That's now true. now the consumption, the a liter of petrol is about eleven point something or That's almost twenty. Okay, so if you are using about 3.5 litre engine yes. and you are using about 1.2 litre car of engine, the weight must not be equal. Mm. Definitely, the 3.5 capacity engine might have a little weight heavier than the 1.2. And that will 
impact on the fuel exactly. consumption. Exactly. So you. you compare and contrast. I see. If you are a middle income, a middle income man, yes. like us, you are talking about, yes. and you want to uh, get a loan to buy a car. You, you assess one and put things together and assess how best you can fuel it, yes. you can maintain it, and you go. You can go and use your the whole uh, what what the loan you get to buy one particular car. And if it's a little problem, then you pack. Let me make sense.